advice would you freshmen that are college? These are every Drop out. Don't sleep with people in your Don't be any evil. Find something you like. Open minded. Connection. Don't drink when you won't regret it. I want to say time management, but <laughs> it's a lot harder than you think. But uh, I think mental health is probably one of the top things. You know, take, look out for yourself. You know, you're number one. You know, you can't take care of anybody else unless you could take care of yourself. I would say be social, go out of your comfort zone. Don't be scared to make new friends. Choose the right alcohol. Don't trust Pink Whitney. Oh, and don't drink Plandol. Yeah. What piece of advice would you give to a freshman coming into college? Talk to an advisor. Plan your classes that way because you will be a junior like me and then be super behind because you didn't plan the correct classes. Make sure you have a good roommate who like lives the same way as you do. Find friends with similar interests. Hey, what's one piece of advice that you would give to an incoming freshman? Don't start skipping classes because when you start you don't stop mm -hmm. and also like the people that you become friends with the first like month or so you're probably not gonna still be friends with. Wait he said the complete opposite that was funny. <laughs> it's likely that you're gonna make a little bit of a friend group, a clique, if you will. And that's probably gonna be the group that you stay with for like the rest of at least freshman year. And you're obviously gonna meet other people, but it's really important that you pick a good group. People that have similar goals as you. Because everyone says something different, so that's why I'm like asking around, that's, yeah. that's cool. Don't sleep with people in your dorm. It causes a lot of <laughs> a lot. What piece of advice would you give to a freshman that's coming into college? Experiment, find something you like, find something you wanna do, you know? You got time, so experiment. Come in open-minded. Don't close off your mind or like expect certain things. Just come in and be ready to experience everything because there's so much to give out of any campus, but this campus in particular. Um, I just came in thinking I was only gonna hang out with my roommates and only hang out with a certain group, and now I have like friends in almost every organization. It's just being open to people and getting to know something about them. I would say first impressions are everything. It sucks, but it's true. Um, YOLO out of your life um, if you have class go still go to a party like do whatever you want what advice would you give to a freshman that's coming into college find good food on campus <laughs> no know the good foods on campus yeah. what, what's, what's your favorite like place here to eat what you say Trujillo's if you've been Trujillo's and get the Sigma something contrap <laughs> <laughs> something contrap yeah <laughs> say yes to everything do everything that you can because it goes by way too fast. Make connections early on. Like, don't just focus on studying because then you kind of um, you kind of get like left out of all that stuff. Yeah, college is supposed to be fun. Have fun, but like you know, kind of find a balance in the beginning of the year. What piece of advice would you give to freshmen that are coming into college? One big thing is look up your study abroad program in the school and dig into that. Like, make sure you know what the study abroad thing is all about because I highly recommend doing it. I mean, so much advice. I could probably give like Yeah, I know. Hours. That's why I asked you. I saw you and I was like, I need to ask him because I know you'd have so much advice. I'm editing that clip right now and he was actually my art teacher my freshman year and another piece of advice that I would say was to just get involved with your professors and teachers and your classes even if it's a big lecture just at least get your name out there because it helps a lot more than you think it does. First, go to class. Try to remember names. That's a big one. That's factual. Um, I would say go to class, experience doing a lot of fun things and get drunk a lot. Don't drop out. Kids. Did you say that? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely like find your people, I guess. Just like figure out the things you like and the things that you like about other people and build like good trust and community. It'll help a lot. Some advice that you would give to a freshman like coming into college? Probably that you have like more opportunities to like meet people than you know and like putting yourself out there in like the dorms and clubs can like really help you like meet new people. What's your advice, Malia? <laughs> Alright. I was gonna say to really make an effort to put yourself out there first semester with the people in your dorms and just like you you get out what you put in, basically. I'd say to like not take life so seriously and I guess yeah, not everything is as serious or like scary as you think it is, just you know, enjoy the moment and not like think too much about the, the future. Freshman advice is it gets better. In the beginning, I was like this close to going home and I wanted to go home the entire first semester and I was like begging my parents. But second semester, like so glad I didn't go home. Well, in our communities, uh, making friends in classes or like uh, in the study area. A lot of people kind of come in 
thinking like, oh, I'll just take some easy classes and just kind of party the whole time. But freshman year, I feel like, is really about getting the foundations of like your major. And I literally today was just going through and I had to switch my major because I didn't want to take a bunch of chemistry classes. My freshman advice would be just to say yes to as much as possible. Um, it's a great way to meet people and just to take every advantage that college has to offer. So do things that take you out of your comfort zone and just encourage um, yourself to have fun and yeah, live your life. You know, accessing the resources and one major resource within universities is like the writing centers. If you're if you're struggling to write and things, get you know take advantage of all the resources. I would say just get involved because <laughs> I'm <laughs> I'm a third year right now um, and I did not do anything on campus. I'm a commuter too, so it was pretty hard like being connected to my campus as well, the school, and it's just really sad. So be involved, make friends. Perfect. <laughs> Actually, I don't even know what I'm gonna say, but. Advice I would give to freshmen is I'm actually graduating uh, next weekend, so um, some advice I would give is actually uh, go to class even if they offer a Zoom um, option or record it. I would say actually just go in person to class um, and probably sit in one of the front rows because it'll really help you learn better and focus in on what they're teaching. I'd say be yourself. <laughs> Um, just actually try and like meet as many people as possible and try new things and just give it your all and seize every opportunity that comes to you because you don't know when you're going to get it again. And this is your freshman year, so crazy. I would say try and get as many connections and build as many relationships as you can. And I think that'll lead you um, really well into your next year or next semester and hopefully build like a lifelong uh, connection and friendship. So yeah, that's what I'd say. I think if you're coming into like a university as a freshman and like you're not a transfer student, I think you're at an advantage just because you're able to meet, I don't know, like meet people in your circle and meet people that kind of align with the same values as you. Mm -hmm. So I think it's kind of important to like, I don't know, like build yourself around good people and just have that support system throughout like the university process and stuff. Yeah. Don't trust everybody in the beginning. Everybody kind of tries to like put on a persona. Just keep being yourself. Yeah, don't try and fit anybody's, yeah. I like that, that's Thank you. true. Um, I would say like really maintain that healthy balance between like social life and school. Cause yeah. you can easily get overwhelmed with either or. Your friends your first week may not be your friends later. But it'll take time and you're going to meet the best people in the entire world and just have fun. Especially as a STEM major, you need all the help that you can get. And they'll warn you that like being a STEM major is hard, but like in reality, it's so much harder. How hard, like 1 through 10, if anyone's a STEM major, what would you say? 8. Really? Eight? I'd say 8 or 9. Okay. Yeah, I yeah, would agree. Just, yeah, I think the workload does say take a lot of your time, so yeah. finding a balance between that. I would say two things. I would say try to be as organized as possible when it comes to schoolwork because and put yourself out there even as hard as it is it's worth it yeah <laughs> it's a combination making those choices of like um, where to spend your time because you you want to be social you want to party you want to have a good time but this won't be this is like the one one of the few chances in your life to really invest in yourself and not have other things getting in the way of it so if you can invest in yourself to go show up to your classes talk to people you know meet your professors and really get to know them so you can start that kind of not only your professors but other like students and really keep in mind the networking aspect of things and how can you you know invest in yourself so you set yourself up for the future because it won't be any easier than it is while you're in, in college. Pick a major that you enjoy and that you're going to want to stick with because you have to stick with it for four years and find good friends. Leave your high school like yourself in high school because college is like an opportunity that like I feel like only like a really good opportunity that you really get to just like actually like remove yourself from who you were and you have like a complete fresh start like yeah there might be some people from like high school that are, might be at your college but everyone's just like doing their own thing and if there's something that you want to start and have been wanting to start in high school at college is the chance to do it that was me with YouTube so that is all I have to say is just go start something that you want to do the day that you get here just do it just do it and you won't regret it <laughs>